What happens when the school's golden girl cheats her way to the top and accidentally chooses the wrong guy to mess with? I was the invisible guy in high school. Not bullied, not popular, just wallpaper. Name's Leo. I aced every test, fixed printers for extra credit, and people only remembered me when they forgot their homework. But I didn't care. I had one thing. My scholarship to Caltech. No distractions, no drama. Then came Sabrina Wells. Perfect GPA. Lead in every school play. President of every club. Everyone called her the next Michelle Obama. And yeah, she was brilliant. Or so everyone thought. Two weeks before graduation, Principal Daniels pulled me aside during chemistry class. Leo, we need you to fact check Sabrina's science fair report. Something doesn't add up. I assumed it was a mistake. Sabrina, she was the standard, but I did as told. Her graphs looked too perfect. Her conclusions, suspiciously polished. I copied the title into Google Scholar. There it was. An MIT undergraduate thesis from five years ago. Word for word. Charts, tables, even spelling errors were the same. She hadn't just borrowed, she'd stolen. I took everything to Principal Daniels, thinking I'd done the right thing. He nodded solemnly and said, thank you, Leo. We'll investigate this. But that was the end of it. No follow-up, no consequences. Until the senior assembly. The national science medal, something I had earned with a published AI project, was awarded to Sabrina. My stomach dropped as she walked to the podium in a designer dress, flashing her perfect smile like she hadn't committed academic theft. That night, I stayed awake thinking, why did I let it slide? And the answer haunted me, because I thought truth would win on its own. So, I did what I do best. I gathered evidence, made a video three minutes long, no voice, no emotion, just facts. Screen recordings of her paper, cross-referenced with the original MIT document, citations, plagiarism detection overlays, crystal clear. I uploaded it everywhere. YouTube, Reddit, school forums, even emailed it to local journalists. By morning, it had 70K views. By lunch, 400K. My phone blew up. Students whispered in hallways. Teachers went silent when I passed. The guidance counselor left me a voicemail asking if I could tone it down. Too late. That evening, the Ivy League school Sabrina had boasted about attending publicly rescinded her acceptance. The school board launched a formal review. Sabrina's parents, who had donated thousands to the school, pulled their funding. And then she found me, cornered me behind the auditorium. Mascara streaked, hands trembling. You ruined my life, she hissed. I looked her dead in the eye. No, you did. I just refused to help you hide. It. She slapped me across the face so hard it echoed in the empty hallway. But this time, people watched and no one defended her. Not a teacher, not her friends, just silence. She transferred schools before the week ended. But it didn't stop there. That video, it hit 1.2 million views, then 3 million, then 5. One day, I got an email from a different Ivy League admissions officer. Subject line, re Leo's AI project. They loved the integrity. They offered me a full ride. But the best part wasn't the scholarship. It was the email I got from an 11th grade girl from another state. She said, I was scared to call out a girl at my school who cheated and always got away with it. But your video gave me courage. I never made a public statement, never gloated, but I did print something and pin it to the school bulletin board before graduation. It said, excellence without integrity is just theft in a pretty dress, LR. On graduation day, Sabrina's name was no longer mentioned. Her honors revoked, her picture removed from the school website. And me, I walked across the stage with no applause, no spotlight, but I didn't need it. Because that summer, when I flew out to visit the campus that believed in me, not her, I realized something. Sometimes the quiet kid wins, not because he shouts the loudest, but because when he finally speaks, the truth echoes louder than applause ever could.